Hey Rose, you can go ahead and take your 10, I got it. Yeah, I'm sure, there's barely anyone here right now anyways. Finally, one of the first customers of the night. I can't stand when it gets a little empty in here. Hi there, what can I get for you tonight? Just a beer? Alright, coming right up. Here you go, our finest. He's kind of cute. Wait, no, actually, he's really cute. I probably shouldn't flirt with a customer, though. Mm, screw it, just, just go for it. So, I haven't really seen you here before. What's a handsome young man like yourself doing here all alone on this fine Thursday evening? Just to watch the game and have some beers? <laughs> what a coincidence, same here. Although, I do have to work, so I can't exactly drink as much as I'd like. <laughs> yeah, I, I love working here. It's a lot of fun. I love the atmosphere and getting to meet new and exciting people. And it's close enough to campus, so I don't have a super long commute. Yep, I work here to pay for school. Well, this place was offering way more than some of the other on-campus jobs, and I thought working at a sports bar would be... interesting. <laughs> yes, I'm old enough to work at a bar. I'm actually almost done with school, thank you very much. Don't try to ID me now, that's supposed to be my job. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't not ID you because I think you look old, but you definitely don't look younger than me, so I think you're all good. But as I was saying, working here is awesome, especially because I get to chat with handsome guys like yourself. <laughs> oh, hold that thought. I'll be right back. I saw you were running low. Oh, there's no need. This one's on me. Yeah. It's all just for you. Ah, uh, thank you. Well, you know, it's not every day charming, respectful guys grace this place who also happen to be single. So you don't have a girlfriend, is what I'm hearing. Hmm, very interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but you have the most piercing eyes. Yeah, I just... I can't keep myself from looking into them. Oh, trust me, your eyes are far from dull. You have a very sexy gaze. <laughs> Wait, um, give me your hand. Because I want to see something. Don't give me that suspicious look, just give it to me. Ah, oh, yes, very interesting. <laughs> I'm reading your palm. Yes, it's a real thing. Look, you see how you have this long vein going from this finger down to your wrist? It means that you're going to live a long and healthy life. That is not a cliche. Take that back. <laughs> I can actually read palms. Thank you very much. No, that's not what I'm getting my degree in. I'm actually studying to be a graphic designer. Yeah, I guess I'm a little artsy. Why do you like artsy girls? You think so? <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. No, I'm actually not one of those artists that can like draw you a self-portrait on a napkin. I mean, I could try, but 
I don't think anything I draw would do you any justice. Oh, yeah, I'm still holding your hand. I know. Do you want me to let go? My manager isn't going to catch us, don't worry. And besides, no one else is really here besides that one middle-aged couple in the corner, so I think we're safe. Okay then, we can just stay like this. You have really nice hands, too. Yeah, well, I think so. They're clean, but still a little rugged, you know? Yeah, well, maybe I do like that. Maybe I like it a lot. <laughs> Don't get all flustered now. Changing the subject, I see. <laughs> well, if you want to see some of my work, you're already looking at it. No, not me, silly. My top. Look. You see this cool logo that's on it? And <laughs> all the napkins and stuff? Yep. That was all me. Well, when I first got a job here, I told the manager that the original logo dated this place, and if they wanted to attract a younger crowd, changing the logo is the first step to a successful rebranding. <laughs> Thank you. You don't have to say that just to flatter me. Um, you're staring. It's okay. No need to apologize. You can keep looking if you want. Do you like what you see? <laughs> Good. Um, are you sure your friend's meeting you here? No, I'm not trying to get rid of you already. It's just that, well... If your friend doesn't show up, then that means... I get to keep you company for the rest of the night, and if he does show up, I won't be able to do that. And that would make me kind of... upset. Did he just text? He can't make it anymore? Is everything alright? Okay, good. Well, then, that means I get you all to myself. Speaking of getting you all to myself, give me your arm. <laughs> no, silly, I'm not going to read your arm. I am giving you my phone number. I mean, I guess I could have just asked for your phone, but then I wouldn't have had an excuse to fill up your arm. <laughs> I know, it seems you fell for it twice. Nice eyes, nice hands, nice arms, but not too swift on catching on to my tricks. Are you sure you're single? What do you mean, what about me? Well, I guess I just haven't found what I'm looking for yet. What am I looking for? Well, why don't you give me a call tomorrow and we'll see if you can help me answer that question. You promise you'll call? <laughs> okay. I look forward to talking to you again. Have a good night, handsome. And just remember, I can do a lot more for you than read your book.